So a PMO is an organizational structure that standardizes the project-related governance processes and facilities, I'm sorry, and facilitates the sharing of resources, methodologies, tools, and tech techniques. So uh, the responsibilities of a PMO can vary. They can range from providing direct support, uh, project management support, and all the way to direct management of actual projects. So supporting a PM versus actually managing projects. A PMO, PMO typically has company-wide responsibility. Um, they play a role in supporting any strategic alignment and delivering value to the organization. A uh, PMO is going to integrate data and information and evaluate how higher-level strategic objectives are being fulfilled. And they tend to be a liaison between organization portfolio programs and projects and the organizational management system, like a balanced scorecard. Uh, PMO projects may or may not be related, and a specific form, structure, and function of a PMO is going to be dependent on the needs of the organization it supports. So there are several types of PMO organizations, and each one varies in the degree of control or influence it has within the organization. So you can have a PMO that is supportive. Um, you could have one that is controlling, or you could have one that is directive. In a supportive environment, uh, the PMO is going to be um, a consultant's role for projects. They're going to supply templates and best practices. They're going to give training. Um, they'll give lessons learned and information from other projects. And they serve as a project repository and their degree of control is fairly low. Uh, in a controlling PMO organization, they're going to give support and require compliance through a variety of means. So their degree of control is fairly moderate. Uh, compliance involves the adoption of project management frameworks and methodologies, the use of specific templates and tools, and also conformance to governance frameworks. So um, in, a, in a previous role that I worked in, we had a controlling PMO. And um, it was something that they had developed kind of you know, through the years. So it was kind of a newer one when I was there. And they had um, a lot of templates that they were providing, like a um, kickoff document, a, a risk log you know, an issues log, things like that. Like they had different types of templates that they wanted us to use as project managers. And, um, you know, so, so we were responsible for making sure that working with the PMO to make sure that all of those documents were accounted for, completed and filled out correctly. So they had that kind of higher level of control. Um, and then they did provide those templates, as I said. And they did expect the conformance to those frameworks of governance that they had. In a directive PMO, um, they do directly manage projects, and the project managers are assigned by and report to the PMO, and their degree of control is pretty high. Um, so the, the project management office can have organization-wide responsibility. Um, it can have authority to act as a stakeholder or decision maker on projects um, in order to keep them aligned with business objectives. They can also make recommendations, uh, lead knowledge transfer or like training, like I mentioned before, or also they can you know, be a decision maker to end or terminate a project. And then they can take any other actions, you know, as needed for whatever it is that they, you know, whether, whatever is within their sphere of influence. Uh, the primary function of a PMO is to support project managers in a variety of ways. So that's going to include things like um, managing shared resources across all projects administered by the PMO. Uh, could be identifying and developing a methodology, like a best practice or a standard. 
coaching, mentoring, training, and oversight, um, monitoring compliance with those project management standards, templates, etc. via audit. Uh, could also be developing and managing project policies, procedures, templates, and shared documentation or coordinating communication across projects.